some people know from a young age what they'll pursue as a career. For others, including Dr. Thomas Jacobson, the path to a successful career has a few more bumps and twists. Dr. Jacobson never planned to be a medical doctor. Growing up, he worked for the Game and Fish Department and planned to go into wildlife management. But then he had a change of heart and instead decided to become a doctor. That's where his story really gets good. His work as a doctor took him to Hedinger, where he became a staple in the community and in the delivery room. Jody Kurzman has his story from Hedinger. I delivered all his kids. These photos are from Timberlake. Cover the highlights yeah. of Dr. Thomas Jacobson's career. They live up in Bismarck now. A career that spanned more than four decades. Down by uh, Meadow Corner. And included thousands of babies. I think it's somewhere between four and 5,000. Dr. Jacobson, known to many as Doc Jake. I had fun. Started working at the hospital in Hedinger in 1969. This is a little gal from On his uh, first day, he quickly realized he'd be delivering a lot of babies. I think I had 19 people the first day, uh, <laughs> and I don't know how, I think 11 of them were uh, obstetric patients, so I got into obstetrics uh, very quickly. <laughs> Tried to do a good job here because there wasn't any place between Bismarck and Spearfish to deliver babies. Although he was a general practice doctor, Doc Jake says the babies were the highlight of his work. I had the best practice in the world. I had the best patients in the world. Doc Jake stayed in touch with many of those patients. Here's a Christmas card. He often received school photos and Christmas cards. These are the Brixies. And many of those babies became his patients again. Seven pounds, 14 ounces. That includes Stephanie Maher. Oh, that's James. Dr. Jacobson delivered her in 1983. Yeah. And in 2006, about 5.30 in the morning, he delivered her Dr. oldest son, James. I don't like going to doctors, and he made you feel calm. He joked around with you. But I had fun, and uh, I hope I treated my patients right. Doc Jake has been officially retired for a decade. But he still lives in Hedinger, where he says he's lucky enough to see many of those babies he brought into the world now making a difference as adults. She works for the paper, I think, down here now. And that, he says, is the best reward a doctor could ever ask for. In Hedinger, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. Doc Jake worked in Hedinger for 43 and a half years before he retired in 2014. He spent a few years working for Indian Health Services in Fort Yates before moving to Hedinger. He kept his license in South Dakota and traveled to clinics there for several years. He retired from that just two years ago.